And now we start making the cauliflower stir fry. I start with the sesame oil. I put about two tablespoons. And I got some ginger right here, already grounded. Just gotta put all of it right here for all that good flavor. And I got some uh, garlic. I'm just gonna put a few. Gonna add some more sesame oil. And now we're gonna add the cauliflower, cauliflower rice. We're gonna stir it. I'm just gonna let it cook for about one minute. And I'm gonna add some carrots. I got some julienne carrots right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and spread them. Here we go. And I'm gonna cook this for about one minute until, until it's soft. The reason why I used um, the cauliflower rice instead of the regular rice is I just wanted to be a healthier dish. I just wanted to add uh, like a healthy aspect to my dish, but I'm still keeping all the good flavors intact. Here we go. Now I add uh, chopped kimchi with the juices as well. Mm. I'm gonna add sim ball sauce, just for extra spice and extra, extra spicy. I'm gonna stir it around. It already smells good with the sim ball sauce. Kind of turn the heat up a little bit. Bam. Gonna chase my dish, see if it needs anything else. I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. Mm. It's really good. I can chase the ginger, the garlic. I can chase the cymbal sauce and also the kimchi juice. It's really good. Now I'm gonna add some peas and some corn. Gonna turn the heat down a little bit and add some uh, some more sesame oil at the end, just to bring it all together. Mmm. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit and I'm gonna pull out the Korean chorizo. Here we go, so hot. Ooh. As you know, it's been simmering for uh, the Korean chorizo, has been simmering for uh, two and a half hours, so it's tender and super juicy.
And now I'm gonna start cleaning it up my dish. Here we go. Just for a visual presentation, I'm just gonna put this one right here. Here we go. And I'm gonna do this right in the middle. I'm gonna keep it right here, cold flour stir fry. And I'm gonna add a little bit of show rip. You can see the shore rib is literally falling apart. It's super tender. And I got some uh, Goshishan Gaioli right here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of circles. Big to small circles. Here we go, it's, we're almost done. <laughs> Here we go, last dot. Here we go, I'm just gonna garnish it with some green onions. And that's it. This is my presentation of the Korean braised shorib with cauliflower stir fry and shorib. And what I'm missing right now is just a little bit of sesame seeds that I'm about to add. This sesame seed is already toasted. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on top. Here we go, and this is all.